So how could 2020 possibly get any worse? That is a statement that I think each and every one of us have said at some point this year. For the rest of the year, I am no longer saying that. That's like, that's like the bad guys. Well, this is my experience, this is my recap and my account of my time with the coronavirus. From the time that I started showing symptoms to the time that I tested, when I tested positive, you'll find out all of those different things here. This is by no means and no such an easy video to make, but this is a part of my life. This is something that I went through and not all memories are going to be good memories, but it's a part of life and this is not necessarily something positive. I hope somebody watching this can take something positive from this video and we can all do our part in staying safe. Wait to start, wait to start. I hear so. This September. September 2020, the night of Sunday, August 30th, yeah. I would have started showing symptoms. I was at home, I hadn't gone anywhere for the day and I just I just had a really bad headache and slowly, slowly but surely that headache started to lead into a fever and the entirety of Independence Day, Monday the 31st of August, I was flat out in bed, I was sick high fever, flu-like symptoms, sore throat, really really bad headache and I was just kind of down and out. The only thing that I did that day is post my short term. It was deemed in my best interest to go and get tested on Tuesday the 1st of September. I'm like two minutes away from going and getting it done now and I'm like, my hands are like <laughs> trembling. <laughs> I do have some of the symptoms, but not not a lot of the symptoms. I don't have all, I can still breathe properly, my chest is not hurting. Um, I, I still have taste in my mouth, smells, everything like that. So I did my COVID-19 test earlier today and it was fuff. It feels like the thing went inside and tickled my brain. Like, still hurts now, it's sore. And Did do it privately, I will admit that, so I could get a fast enough time. And mind you, all of these days I have not left my house. Son, from this Sunday, the entirety of the Sunday, I was at home and I had not left my house. Then the second quarantined at home, didn't go anywhere, didn't get any results. On Thursday, at around, I would say about 10 to 4 in the afternoon, I received a phone call and then is that phone call is when they told me, you have tested positive for the coronavirus. So today is Thursday, the 3rd of September 2020 and I was just diagnosed with the coronavirus. I tested positive for the coronavirus. Um not exactly sure how to feel about that. It, it's just become very, very real all of a sudden. Um and kinda scary to be honest. That mental side of things for me got me really really down and out like I was very very difficult having to do my little contact tracing and whatnot and tell the people I was in contact with over the the weekend prior you know I experienced easy situation and you know you should probably uh, isolate yourself for a couple days and it weighs on your energy it's like such a uh, a hard reality. This is what the reality of the COVID situation is. Vitamin C daily, taking tablets, the, the fever, 
all of these different things like that way where my face mark just to protect you know everything um my mom to come and probably have a glass of vitamin C or something but feeling feeling a bit better today. You know it's good to come out and get some sunlight. This is my life in quarantine. I'm not dealing with it well. Which brings us to today. Monday the 14th of September. Today is what? Today is Monday, Monday the 14th. Monday the 14th of September, coronavirus test 2. I highly do not recommend going and getting things stick up your nose. I say nobody, nobody from the ministry has contacted me. I don't even know if I showing up as a statistic. I've heard through external sources that the ministry is saying that your quarantine starts from the day in which the ministry acknowledges your your test being positive and really and truly, I that is why I did my second test. I need to go back to work. I need to get my life back in order, you know. As I said, being a self-employed person with COVID-19 is very, very rough. It's also been an eye-opening experience for me. So once that test comes back negative, I should be good to go on a minute. I'm now going to check my results from my second COVID-19 test to see what the results are. On top? Yeah. No, you are still COVID positive. Ah! Sorry, I thought it was IgG on top. So I still have it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so in that last clip, I may have slightly overreacted, just a, just a little bit. But yes, the test did come back a very bare positive. It basically meant that I had small traces of the virus still in my body. Couple more days inside, and your boy will be free. But mind you, I will still be very, very safe and wear my mask and... You are responsible for yourself and yourself alone. You car is almost like driving a car in Trinidad and Tobago. You gotta drive for you and the other person because you don't know what they're doing, where they have been. You have to make sure you know and you are as responsible as you can be as an individual. But yeah, this, is, this has been a, a very heavy kind of raw emotional up and down roller coaster of a ride video thank you for watching this has been my covid19 story mm -hmm.